making mono stereo. So sometimes when you're trying to achieve a stereo effect or stereo feel in a song, you're stuck with mono tracks. So here's an example where we have some drums, they're nicely recorded, but we only have one overhead mic. So listen to what these sound like. Okay, it's good sounding, they're good sounding drums, but they're very mono sounding. Here's our overhead right here. And if we pan it to one side, we notice that we still have the kick and the snare coming through in the middle, but it's really kind of lopsided. Okay, we could try to utilize this hi-hat mic to sound like a, a, a second overhead or something like that. We might be able to get away with making it sound more stereo that way, but it still sounds kind of lopsided and such. So what we can do is we can basically take this mono track and make it kind of a pseudo stereo. And so the way to do that is basically duplicate it and delay it a little bit. So we're going to do that with a delay plugin. And we're going to take a delay plugin that takes a mono track and makes it stereo. So we're taking a mono signal and we're putting it through two delays. So we're going to take one of these delays and we're going to put the mix to zero and the other one we leave at 100%. And this is similar to some of the other delay effects that we do, but instead of just making a guitar have kind of an echo off to the side, we're going to take this and, and use even a shorter delay and do some other stuff to make it kind of trick our ears into thinking it's stereo. So we're going to make our delay pretty short and if we listen to it, we're going to go ahead and just solo this track. Okay, so there's bypass right in the middle. Okay, you can hear how that's starting to sound stereo. But if you listen to it, you'll notice that that left side, which is the, the original track that hasn't been delayed, still sounds like it's louder or closer to you or coming first. And that's because it's getting to you first. Whereas this second track, which is delayed, is getting to you a little later than the first. So there's two ways that we can tell what something, well, there's a lot of ways, but two main ways that our ear tells us what direction something's coming from. And that's level or loudness and also arrival time. And so right now, based on arrival time, our ears are telling us that the left side is coming first. So... You can hear how that's it's kind of left heavy because of that. Okay, it sounds kind of like a delay. So if we take and kind of fool ourselves by saying, okay, based on arrival time, the left is coming first, but based on level, we're going to make it sound like the right is coming first. Then we're going to kind of cancel that out. So what we're going to do is turn the volume down of the left side so that the right side is louder, so that by level our brain is telling us that the right side is coming first. And by arrival time, our brain's telling us that the left side's coming first. Okay, so we'll... Okay, so you can start to hear as you adjust the delay time and the gain of this track, you can make it appear more stereo. Okay, so now we have a stereo sounding drum overhead. Okay, so now we have taken a mono track and basically made it stereo, and this is what it sounds like in the mix. So now it's definitely a stereo sounding overhead. Okay, so that is how you make mono stereo.